we have the king of swords perhaps an air sign here let me get something with this king of swords we have the seven of swords so we have a lion ass air sign or we got just a big ass liar let me get something here with this this uh seven of sword here somebody here is very deceptive hiding information manipulating information here they're trying to manipulate these people it could be a family they're manipulating their own family or friends or people that they're close to they're lying to all these people just to like keep them happy but they're still lying and it's a big lie too they lying to every fucking body we have the knight of wands energy here we got a fire sign here okay let me get something here so it's some type of action being taken what is this we got the three of wands energy so it could be somebody that's leaving and they don't want to tell you that they leaving okay or it's i don't know it seemed like it's bigger than that i just saw the moon card here it seemed like it's bigger than that like they're really hiding the shit they're trying to be strategic here to keep everybody happy okay it's giving like libra kind of energy like when you want to keep the peace but like you're not being honest so you got to find a middle ground between that and then we have the three of cups energy yeah going somewhere where it's real love or real connection or something i don't think this king of sword love these people i think it's some fake ass shit man i'm sorry i mean whatever like i'm just saying and then we have the seven of wands energy here it looked like somebody's tired of fighting or defending themselves or somebody's tired of being in like they feel like a war zone or some shit what is this here and then you got the moon at the bottom like somebody's fighting a silent battle or something like that and they lying to people about the shit they lying to themselves they lying to people but they're tired they think if they just ignore it it's going to go away no it's not going to go away we have the page of pentacles here it's something that this king of sword they want to do they want to start they want to build it's something they want to do we got the sun card somebody want to be their true self but their true self is something of it's something deceptive here i don't know about that i don't know about that it's something deceptive here okay but it's it's their identity like they i don't know that's weird how the fuck to make that fit like that doesn't even make any sense how are they trying to do something but they lying about it what is it that they want to do they want to be real and be real what you lying to them for they can't take it like what is it then they don't really fucking love you if you gotta lie to them they don't love you well not the real you what is this here we got the hangman energy here these people gonna look at this person way different they're gonna be like who is that i didn't know they was like that or i didn't know they wanted that or i didn't know who that that's who that was or i didn't know it's something like that they want to plant this seed they want to start this shit but like they don't want other people to know because they tired of the battle they tired of fighting but it's a silent battle that's they're going through probably by themselves because they're lying to everybody else we got leo energy we got pisces and we yeah we got pisces out here twice leo and pisces we have the seven of pentacles energy here yeah whatever this is they take action on they plan on going all the way i don't know what this is it's an air sign they not being honest they just just say i mean i don't know it's your business okay it's your business but i mean like if you gotta lie how do you expect these people to like really i don't know maybe you don't want them in your fucking business maybe that's what it is we have judgment here because you already know what it is you know they're gonna judge you for what the fuck you're doing you know what it is let me get something here with this three of cups i mean i understand i understand but i mean like do you understand that if you can't be honest with these people then like it's clearly not no fucking ten of cups that's not ten of cups that's not unconditional love if you got to lie or you got to be like you know what i'm saying like either i don't know who needs to know it whether it's the people or you but whoever you really are you have to find the people that love the real you let me get something here yeah i feel like it's gonna be some type of switch i see the uh the two of pentacles here let me get something here they're gonna balance something out or they feel like they gotta balance something out we got the five of pentacles here wow 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 now i don't know it could be three people or it could be a specific three people hmm okay let me get something here you're about to transform And I don't think these people are going to be able to prosper off of that or something like that. Okay, we got the Page of Sword, but what is these two cards that came out? Nine of Cups and the High Priestess in reverse. Oh my goodness. It's something here with like a, a dark intuition or like a dark... Like someone that abuses what they know. Or the secrets being revealed that somebody is just extremely unhappy. What's this at the bottom? Yeah, the Five of Cups. I didn't even know it's really being revealed because the high priestess in reverse i mean it could represent something that is coming out it could represent something like 
I don't know how to say, like, someone's losing themselves or someone has a, I don't know. Is this like a hidden agenda or something like this? Like, what is this? Hmm. It's like secrets, man. Like, somebody is depressed. Somebody is so unhappy that, like, I don't know what they might do. But they're not going to let these people know. Let me get something here with this. We got temperance energy. I told you it's something about balance. Something about the marriage of two forces. Sagittarius energy. But this is somebody's path. That, okay, that's all I really wanted to know. Like, is this King of Sword a big-ass liar? Or are they protecting what it is that is truly them or truly is something here. And then we got the justice here and the 10 of cups. You see, it's like, it turns all the way upside down. Something has to balance out. It's very important for whoever this King of Sword is. They just got to fucking do it. Okay. They just got to do it and do it well. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> whoever this is, you better do the damn thing and you better do it well. And that's going to be that. Because you're going to get a real Ten of Cups. It's not going to be this Ten of Cups that's next to the Seven of Swords. Because I don't feel like those people really love you. Or you don't really love those people because you can't be yourself. Or they don't let you be yourself. They don't allow that. I don't know. Okay? But justice is here. Let me get something here. And it's, all, it's also another thing. You're going to answer your calling. I feel like it's seriously a transformation. But I ain't trying to say like every little thing. But like when you go through this transformation... It's something that's going to happen. It's going to open doorways here. And I don't feel like these people that are going to look at you different with the hangman underneath the Ten of Cups, I don't think they're going to have access because over here with the Three of Cups is Five of Pentacles after judgment. So I don't think after your transformation or after you rise from something, I don't think they're going to have access because they didn't love you to begin with or just the connection was not there. Let me get something here. You shouldn't have to lie. If you're lying about who you are, and you think that the people around you love you, they don't even know you. How can they love you? They don't know you, okay? It's something like that. But I feel like once they do know you or if they see that side of you or whatever it may be, because it's something with identity. I know it is. Somebody's hiding their identity, seven of sword in the sun. Like, come on. Whatever this is, they're either going to get with it or they're going to get without you. And if they're getting, if they're going to get without you, they're going to miss out big time because that five of pentacles is not a game. They're going to miss out big time trying to maybe it's something about attacking you and that's why you always feel like you have to defend yourself or something like that you don't have to feel like none of that shit why should you it's like that's a terrible feeling that's a terrible feeling so i take back what i said maybe this this uh king of sword is not a big ass liar okay maybe that's not what it is maybe it is what it is is they're protecting their spirit they're protecting their true identity their vulnerableness their <laughs> all of that shit okay what makes them happy they're protecting the joy because they know this ain't a real ten of cups this ten of cups right here they, they're going to judge you they're going to look at you different and they're going to lock their own self out because they attack you like they it's almost like somebody being in the closet it's really like you know in some kind of way it's not always in the closet gay sometimes it's other things that people be in the closet but they just don't think that their family is going to accept them their friends going to accept them these people going to accept them and if they don't fuck them you got to be your true self. It ha you have to align. The first thing that has to be in line is you. That's the first thing. If you're not in line, then everything around you is an illusion. If you're not your real self, everything that is around you is an illusion. Okay? You have to be your true self. And yeah, some shit is going to fall off you. You get what I'm saying? Some shit is going to fall to the wayside. But what you gain is going to be the real stuff. And that's why I saw the Ten of Cups the second time. I'm just saying. Somebody going to have peace. Mm-hmm. They're not going to have to be in that seven of swords. Mind you, those are the only two swords that's in the whole reading. I mean, other than the page of swords, my bad. So we got three different swords out here. We got the king of swords, the seven of swords, and this page of swords over here. But the page of swords is looking at that five of pentacles. Okay? So they're not going to be doing so well. You're going to be over there succeeding, ascending. We have the king of wands energy. Like, you have a big, like, energy. You have a big personality you have something here. Like, I don't know. Maybe somebody want to be a comedian. I don't know. But you need to go for it. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. If they're not with you, then they're against you. If they don't believe in you, don't let that get in your head. You believe in you. That's why I'm saying the first thing that has to be in line is you. 
if you believe in yourself, fuck what anybody else has to say. That's the truth, for real, for real. Because if a lot of people listen to what other people had to say, there'd be a lot of people not out there in the world doing what they're doing right now. Because of somebody always trying to stop them. That's exactly what this is. Ain't no damn son, king of wands, scared to be... Like, that's just crazy. You shouldn't have to feel like that. You need to find somewhere where you can be you. Yeah, six of wands. They're going to see this shit, too. They're going to see you in a whole different light. They're going to be like, damn, I'm telling you. Whoever this is that this person is hiding, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know. You could be a closet dominatrix. You could be a closet drag queen. You could be a closet... I don't fucking know, okay? There's a lot of things that... People feel like, oh, I can't express this because, oh, they're going to judge me. Well, I'm glad you know that. Okay? So do what you do and find the people that's not going to do that to you. Let me get something here. Yeah, those people will come. I just saw the, uh, the what you call, the Knight of Cups. Let me get something here. I mean, do what you do. Like, I don't give a fuck. Do what you do. We have the Four of Swords energy here. Four of Swords energy, so it will be something that you won't have to think about no more. It's going to be put to rest. Like, your hard work is going to pay off. You're going to go after this. You have to go after it. Maybe you're not going to tell them. Didn't I say that at the beginning? I think I did. Maybe you're not going to tell them that you're going after some type of opportunity, or maybe this is to do with your identity, okay? I don't know. Maybe it's like an open mic or something like that, and maybe your family doesn't believe in that. Oh, you're not going to be a singer. You're not going to be a dancer. You're going to, you know... Like, maybe it's something like that, or you're going to be a doctor or some shit like that. Like, and maybe you don't want to be. Yeah, confirmation. Thank you. Maybe you don't want to be. Okay, wait a minute. This must be important. What is this? Okay. There we go. Let me get something here with this. Judgment. What is this here? We got the two of cups here, right underneath judgment. Wow. I don't know. It looks like a, a re either a relationship is about to be forfeit. Or this represents you getting a new relationship or confirmation for both. Because judgment and then the two of cups, it's like you're ready for love or something like that. Or you're ready for your reflection, but you can't get your reflection if you're not really you. You know, like you can't put a mask on and go look in the mirror and think that that's what you look like. I hope that makes sense. Not if you want that ten of cups. That's for the third time that it came out, y'all. The third time. The third time. Third time's a charm. You have unconditional love out there but first you got to love yourself unconditionally and then you can be around people that are like that then it will it's something that has to radiate around you but it starts within if you're around people that you can't be yourself you need to get the fuck from around them period no excuses shit you could be a closet tarot reader <laughs> uh you could be a closet tarot reader and look, I shuffled and the Ten of Cups is still there. That's the fourth time, y'all. The fourth time. Look, let me get something here. If that's the case, if they can't take it, some people are like, oh, get that shit out of my house. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't know. We have the High Priestess energy here. Wow. Underneath the Five of Pentacles. Let me get something with this. And then we have the Three of Wands once again. They're going to see you move forward. I really feel this, and I feel like they're going to judge you. They're going to say that this is not good or this is not who you are, but you know who you are. Don't let nobody tell you who you are. You tell you who you are. That's number one. But they're going to say the shit, and they're going to wind up in Five of Pentacles energy, all of them. They're all going to wind up in Five of Pentacles energy, okay, while you knew the truth. And they're going to see you as somebody that knew the truth and that followed your intuition and followed your signs, they're going to see you like that. Yes, they are. They're going to see it. They're absolutely going to see it. King of Pentacles here. They're going to see it. It's going to be real shit out here. Let me get something here. Yes, yeah, a lot they couldn't see with this moon card still at the bottom. There was a lot they couldn't see, but they're going to see. You already know. You already know you're going to be okay. Whatever it is, this is a different world that we live in today. So you're going to be all right. You're definitely going to be all right. We got the five of wands. Okay, whatever causing problems and shit i mean it just makes you stronger whatever the case may be is to make you stronger and that's another thing don't get it confused like okay there's a difference between when something is hard because it's there to teach you something it's there to make you better and when something is hard because that's not the direction you're supposed to go you have to really know the difference that's why i say the first thing is being yourself if you can be yourself you know what's for you and what's not you know when it's a challenge that's going to make yourself stronger and you know when it's a challenge that's the, like the challenge of these people loving you. You don't have to fight that. That's not your battle. Your battle is being yourself. 
after that, everything will gravitate around that. Okay? I'm just saying. Let me get something here with this. That's something that's going to make you stronger. As, the, as that energy comes around you, it's going to be challenges, yes. But it's going to be challenges to make who you are, the true self, stronger. Okay? Versus these other obstacles with people that don't love you. You know what I'm saying? Or they're going to judge you. That obstacle right there is not really an obstacle. That's the that's like a sign that's telling you don't go this way because there's no love there. There's no truth there. Your truth is not even over there. If you can't be your true self over there, then that's not you. It's like they're confused with who you are. And I understand it's not it's not necessarily nobody's fault because in this world, they really, really, really try to make you stifle your individuality, what makes you shine. They really do it on all levels, seriously. And there are, yes, there are things that are out there that tell you, yes, you got to be your true self. Yes, there's like things that combat that. But still, the person, each person has to make that decision to be who they are so that they can find the love that's theirs, not the fake love because you have a mask on. I can easily go put a mask on and go look in the mirror, okay? But I'd be real fucking delusional to think that's my real face. That's all I'm saying. Let me get something here with this King of Wands. We got the High Priestess. I'm telling you, you already know. That's what I'm telling you. They're going to see you as somebody that foresaw the future. That's how they're going to see you. They might not see you like that right now, but if you follow your true self against what they think and what they were taught... You're going to be led where you're supposed to go to your Ten of Cups. You're going to be led there. And they're going to see you get led there. Look, confirmation. Thank you. They're going to see the whole shit take place. And they're going to be like, damn, they knew the whole fucking time. We have the strength card here, Leo energy. Yeah. Your strength is going to be like <sighs> unknockable, unbreakable. I told you they're going to see it. Page of Sword. Once again, that's the, that's the second time, just like the High Priestess. Let me get something here with this. They're going to see it. They're going to be paying attention. Yeah, we got the Queen of Sword here. Wow, let me get something with the Queen of Sword. We got the Page of Wands. It's a lot of energies now. Page of Sword, Queen of Sword, Page of Wands, Air Sign, Fire Signs. Okay. What is this here? And then we got the Seven of Pentacles. Something about keeping it moving forward. That's like, what the fuck can they say? They can't say anything. What's this at the bottom? Ten of Wands here. Man, it don't matter. It's like... It's an energy of, yeah, you might have challenges. Not might. You're going to have challenges, but it's going to be so much worth it. It's going to be so worth it. Okay? Just to be yourself. You got to fight. They've been... This is a fucking old-ass spell. They've been trying to have people not identifying with who they are. They've been trying to have people scared to be real about who they are. That's the culture that they have created, pretty much, for people to be scared to be real. Scared to be who they are. They demonize every fucking thing. And the real demonic shit, they make it look normal. Shit. But it's okay. Let me get something here. It says, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay, but you got to start with yourself. It says, change. The man in the mirror. The man in the mirror. The woman in the mirror. Okay. It says, imagination. The damn card is almost the same color. Love and imagination here. It's like, don't stifle your imagination. Don't think that something is impossible. Don't think that you have a limit. Yeah, we have certain things, certain glass ceilings, but them bitches need to be broken. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Yes, we have glass ceilings, but them shits can't stay up there. Let me get something here. And it says freedom. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, humor, freedom, and envy. You see what I'm talking about? That's that shit right there. They envy your freedom. They envy. Because when you're truly who, you're, who you are, you are free. You are free. You are love. You are God. Now, I don't mean God the creator. I don't mean the supreme being and all that. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying if you become who God meant for you to be, the one that's in the inside, don't let nobody tell you who the fuck you are. Whoever is on the inside that's crying to get out, let that motherfucker out. Let me get some other message here. Because that's really what this shit is about. They envy your freedom. They envy it. You feel it. You feel that shit. Once you're born into this world, you feel that shit. The whole idea is we're going to get to a place when, when you're born into this world, you don't see that shit because it doesn't exist. Everybody can be free. Everybody will be able to be who they are. Like, what the fuck what kind of world is that? It says shine bright. I'm done. <laughs> shine bright like a diamond. It says raise the bar. Don't let nobody put no fucking glass ceiling over your head telling you who you can and cannot be. You be who the fuck you are and you be the best. 
Okay? That's the truth. That's what fucking people should have told you. That's what the parents should have told us. That's what everybody should have fucking said. Be the best person that you can be. Don't say, oh, be the best you can be, but you can't be this and you can't be that and you can't do this and you can't. Don't nobody want to hear that. Be who you are. If people don't like you, find the people that do. Okay? No, fuck find them. They will find you. Okay? It just happens. That's how it works. But you got to be real with yourself first. If you can't be real with yourself, how are you going to be real with somebody else? Okay? Let me get something here. It says guardian angel. You will be all right. Vulnerability and freedom. Freedom. Freedom rings. I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.